Louis Zavaleta and Michelle, no surname, just Michelle, present Mental Monster. And don't let their appearance at the beginning of the video put you off. These are two incredible creators that are bringing for you Mental Monster, a trick designed for kids. And yet they made the decision that on their project, they wouldn't have a live performance for children. Instead, they'd spend 15 pounds in Asda on some shitty Halloween decorations, put them up in their living room, and then perform the trick to each other. Apparently, when you're releasing a trick that's designed to be performed to children, you don't need a live performance to children. Let's talk about all the different reasons that this trick is wrong. First of all, the presentation. It looks like it hasn't been thought through. It looks like this trick was just created in five minutes and then they decided to put it together and market it. For a start, he starts off by talking about all the different pictures of monsters. There's ten pictures, only one of them is of a monster. There's a picture of a pumpkin, that's not a monster. There's a picture of a cat, that's not a monster. There's a picture of a whole bunch of stuff that only monsters, only one monster. And therein is the first problem. The second problem is the actual trick itself does not look very good at all. It's a change of a little boy into a monster for presentationally no reason at all. It doesn't make any sense. Apparently, this little boy called Igor can, pr can predict stuff, except he gets the prediction wrong. But then he turns into a monster and he can read minds and all of a sudden he can make a predict. It doesn't make any sense. But the trick actually looks terrible. Like, it looks really bad. They have a little cover that you can use to cover the front of the picture to give you more cover, but that makes it even worse. Honestly, the best part of this trailer is the guy's tie, which is pretty cool. Now, the other thing is this costs $55, and it's made out of really cheap cardboard and will probably last at zip point two seconds. Anybody who does kids magic will know that you need hard wearing props, especially if you're paying $55. No, you're paying $55, you want a good presentation. We don't have that here. We, ha we need a live performance. You don't have that here. You need props that are not going to fall apart in five minutes. You don't have that here. And you need, and most importantly, more than anything else, you need a method that looks really good. And you don't have that here. What you have is two people in a living room, and it looks like they're just about to launch a Halloween party. This trick is terrible. Stay away from it. If you're a kid's performer, run. Run far away. Pretend that there are real monsters there, and then what would you do? You would run in the other. That's what you want to do. Run. Do not buy this. Honestly, the most horrifying part of this whole trick is the f***ing price.